This is my daughter, portrait of my daughter that I've been working on for about a year and a half. And um, well, it needs a lot of work. Um, I, I, it's at a point where I'm a little bit at a, at a loss for what to do next. I have a design up on the wall here. So I just have to really get back into it and start making decisions. Because I have all the glass at different levels and um, you know, I have to make sure that you know, when you're doing a portrait, if you fire it and things start to flow in the wrong direction, you can get droopy eyes or you can lose your likeness. So I have a general sense of this piece right now. In fact, I'm squinting my eyes and looking at it. It actually looks a lot better than I remember. Um, but I have to finish it. I've done two completed portraits. I love this technique. It's all made out of sliders, which are these chunky, very thick pre-made glass pieces that I make in my kiln. And then I selectively place them around as they need to be for the, to create kind of a mosaic, sort of like a puzzle. And then fire it all and it all melts together. And then sometimes do another layer, do some, do some painting on it. Um, so I, I don't think I'm being overly precious with it, but I just, I've done two portraits and each one has sort of taken the next step. So I want to make sure this one takes the next step also that I don't, that I don't just do something and go, oh, it's good enough. No, I don't think I do. No, I got the real thing up there. So a picture of her in glass doesn't create any emotion in me. I'm, I'm great with this kind of work, creating an emotional connection to people. That's why, one of the reasons I do it. I, w I want other people to feel connected to it. Um, I've, I'm capable of feeling connected to other people's artwork. Um, if somebody else did a portrait of my daughter, I might be like, oh, I want to have that. But when I do it, I don't know. It just doesn't have that feeling. It just, it's this challenge. It's this desire to make something amazing and just staggeringly beautiful. That's what I want to do. And I think there is a objective, you know, nature to that statement that it's objectively beautiful not just like oh it's conceptual oh i see the beauty in that because it's a you know it means this to me or it, it, it represents or symbolizes that no sorry this is objectively beautiful and you cannot deny that because it's look at the color look at the light look at the you know the expression you know it's like looking at a rembrandt it's like looking at a van gogh the greatest paintings are beautiful so it's all about color choices it's all about light about value it's about what the glass is doing and, and um, you know, generally how, how look at it is. You know, the look at ability is very important. I mean, I want people to be able to look at this thing and stare at it for a long time and not get bored. Glass on there creates an interesting kind of a fleshy look up there. So it sort of it muddies that up a little bit, but I like it, or do I? See, these are the decisions that I have to make. Maybe I like that better. In fact, I do like that better. This piece is really cool. That's a pre-made piece, just made with powder in the kiln. It's perfect for hair. So, and then I gotta go in with these eyes and just be super sticklery. Oh, so many little decisions that I still have to make. <laughs> Four. And how old is she now? Ten. She might even be 11. She's about to be 12 next month. She wasn't four. She was, she was probably six or seven. She was probably six or seven. And then I have to make sure that everything is level and not going to flow in one direction or the other. Well, I get down like this. You got to get down low and see where you got to build up. See, if I leave this there, that's just going to go boom, flow into the face. I mean, it is something that I'm not getting paid to do this, so it makes it easy to ignore it for a little while. <clears throat> mm -hmm, for sure. Uh, I don't always have that luxury, but stuff like this where, like I said, it's not a commission, uh, it does help because you get, you know, I'm sure it's the same way with any art form or film, you get a little perspective. 
perspective is good. But the glass portrait, man, it's got some some juice. The glass portrait. I want to do more. I want to do bigger ones, try different styles. Um, I think there's something something here that, that can be explored.